in this next video I'm going to show you guys some normal random stuff sometimes you might get a call of a list where you could be helping a lot of team members meaning like you know moving this stuff or moving servers right here as you can, you can see there's a heavy servers right here and in this video I'm going to also show you guys just random moving meaning two or three or five or six offices are moving so everybody needs to put their hands on it doesn't matter what department you're forming in IT especially the support area where like you know all uh, the networking team or you help together because they, got, they may need help with wiring you might need with moving servers um, you know help this may need all uh, moving all the computers so it depends on the company how big they are and maybe they have a specific people to do this stuff but like I said I, if you work in a medium sized company like this it's an all hands on thing there's really no who is responsible like you know I'm specifically responsible for servers it's not like that but in some companies that might be like this that I just do only servers someone else do the help desk someone else do the opening up and setting up the initial setup or the offices and someone else might be doing like office calls like these like 10 or 5 offices being moved together so then you help each other out so I'm going to show you after this video I'm going to show you some other stuff like printers printer stuff print, basic troubleshooting for printers and also the physical moving part so that will be under one of our section in help desk course thank you work on big network printers network printers are for a lot of people they print big jobs and they are connected through network so to set this up you need to have some type of print server administrator like on a server like windows 2012 server you need to install a print server uh, feature so basically when you have that then you can use these type of printers or you can use any other uh, server technology print server technologies but you can use it any other ways most of the people, these are really expensive stuff, so a lot of people will use it for a lot of users. Now, some cases you might have uh, printers in office for privacy reasons and things like that. Um, the only thing you need to do is to kind of play around with your printer. Now, you might be using some different printers, so you need to know how do you quickly restart this machine. So, for example, in this one, there's a little button right here. If I click this, it tells me there's a quick restart. We usually do that. Sometimes it fixes a lot of issues. Sometimes you have to totally shut it down, re reopen it. That's a physical troubleshooting. Sometimes you need to go and find out where can you open this and then take the paper out, close it back, and then it do its reset. Sometimes you need, if it's more than that, if it's more than this, then you probably have to do more of troubleshooting on the server side because maybe IP address is not correctly configured or that port is not working where it's connected. So those are more network troubleshooting, but on a physical level, there's not much we do. Usually these are um, vendor-based, so a vendor will come here and do the upgrades to it, like physical upgrades or and system upgrades, or sometimes you have to do it. So these are the printer side of troubleshooting. Thank you. Make sure you check the number here. This is when users call that printer is low on cartridge. Can you guys change it? And we can do that depending on whose responsibility is this. Sometimes you might be doing this because someone else is not here. So you gotta grab this thing. This slowly because you're gonna get all the ink on your. See that black ink. 
There you go. Out. And now I'm gonna put this back in the printer and everything is good. And you put this stuff back in that box and whatever you need to go back for the recycling, it will go over there. That was a real world scenario about printer. Working on different printers, you saw that we worked on HP, now we work on Dell. And most of the issues related to it, some people can't print because the driver got stuck or the, the printer is warmed up pretty bad. And things, a lot of things can happen to the printer because there's too many pieces, maybe pepper jam. So simple way just restart it quick restart usually fix everything with networking if there's more than that if a computer if a printer is saying that i can find the network and things like that then you can go to the server but at a physical level basic troubleshooting quick restart check if there's anything stuck here open it up make sure you know what type of printers you're working on you can go to google and search for the error there's going to be error right here search for that with that printer name and then do some troubleshooting um, usually a lot of times you sometimes have to just take the plug out and plug it back in that usually also works I know it's a little weird fix but it fixes it you just need to know what printers do you have and kind of a little bit research on Google to know how to fix these little issues And this is done.